director over there, Barb. Um, I'd like to thank everybody here at Indy Reads Books who lets us do this and has a great space. So here's what this is. The Downtown Writers Jam, the basic version of this is about 20 years ago, I saw a thing called the Uptown Poetry Slam, which is in Chicago. Mark Smith, the guy who started Poetry Slams in America. I went and saw a show. He made me a judge, and I was like, this is the greatest shit I've ever seen in my whole life. There was about 150 people getting drunk and going crazy for three hours while poets were doing their thing. And I hate poetry, and I thought, there's got to be something that we do for people like me who do nonfiction and fiction. So 20 years later, I decided to do something, which is start this. So the Downtown Writers Jam is really the fiction, nonfiction, playwright version of that first poetry slam that I saw 20 years ago. As such, there are going to be some rules that we go over tonight. So we have five authors. They're going to have 10 minutes, not total, each, to tell a story from a finished piece of work that they have. And most of them, I don't think, knew that they were going to be in the round. Some of them did. <laughs> So they will start. Sarah knew. They will start. They will start walking around, but there will be some that just stop and look and sort of forget you. But they love you, don't. So okay. um, they're not going to be reading. They're going to be telling the story. They don't get to use notes because it's not their thing. Uh, and then you guys will have to do some stuff. There will be three judges who I pick from the audience. Who? <laughs> Sal had to do this before. Who will rate the stories one through ten. At the end, there will be a winner declared. That winner will get nothing. <laughs> no money, and I'm not giving it to them. They will get, everybody will get applause. It really is, just, it doesn't make any difference. So, as the audience, here's what you need to do. First of all, pay attention. You come down, I'm assuming that's not going to be a big one. You will respond, but do not talk back to them. If somebody's telling a story and it appears like they are talking to you, they are not. <laughs> they are telling a story. Don't respond. There will be three ways in which you can interact. We're going to do a little thing right now. So, if somebody's telling a story and you like what you're hearing, you enjoy it, you can hear that. Everybody, just get, get to it. If you love it. Personal favorite. If you don't like it, if you don't like what's happening in the story, that's not laughing. No laughing. I'm laughing. What do you do if you like it? What do you do if you love it? What do you do if you hate it? The judges, like I said, there'll be three. Barb's gonna be one. <laughs> yeah. These are my friends, I can't judge them. That's exactly what we do. You're just going to do it in public. <laughs> that is exactly what we do. Vivian, don't laugh because you will be one. Hi, Vivian, you will be one. Well, Vivian is the, is it the president? Is that, what, is that the title? Of the Carmel Arts Council, of which Rebecca and I are associate members now. But. But, more importantly, master degree in library science. Well, yeah. 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 the old that time is. library sciences brings the house down. <laughs> I knew that meant a lot more than Carmel Arts Council. <laughs> <laughs> you know, know your audience. So I need one more judge. I can randomly choose Sal, you or I can... Oh, you got a hand. Uh, Where? What's your name? My name's Carl. Carl. Carl seems very excited about this. <laughs> so at the end, you will rank the stories one through ten. And I will call on you, and you will give us, and we will add those up. Uh, sponsors, like I said, Indy Reads Books, who's great. We love them that they allow us. Fouch Books, up in the front, you can read them. So make sure you stop by. You can buy one of their books up there. Indian Writer Center, which provides us a lot of support and um, helps us promote this and all of these kinds of things. And tonight, after this, like I said, we have our second part of the fundraiser. It's a one-room pub crawl. Uh, $15, two drink tickets. We have Outliers Brewing Company, Two Deep, and New, uh, what is it, New Day Craft? New Day Craft. New Day that. 
I'm an alcoholic. I don't drink anymore. So I don't give a shit. But, <laughs> um, I drank all the beer I was allowed to in my 20s. Um, Barb and Sal and Sarah will be reading there tonight. We have a silent auction. I think we have Yats. Food from Yats. It's all delicious. the money that we have that my wife was just presenting there. Um, Very good. All the money that we raise is going to Indy Reads. So that's what's happening tonight. What do you do if you like it? You love it? You hate it? This is easy. So with that, we're going to bring up our first author, Elise Lockwood.